Good morning, it's February 3rd, 2021. I'm Kimberly Jolly from Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube, and we started the Be Mind Stitch Along yesterday, and I love that so many of you are joining us. So I'm gonna kind of start with the Be Mind Stitch Along. I'm gonna show you how much I've gotten so far. Of course, it's only the second day, but I do have some accomplishments so far. And make sure to follow along with our hashtag and here is kind of my summary of what I am working on. If you want to do this similar to me, we have this free download for you. So the first day was monthly markings, which we started in January. So this is where I am at. And I will show you what this is going to look like. We took the heart in hand pattern it's a 13 part series and we changed the fabric and the floss we're using weeks dye works so this is january so yesterday i did the outside and then this week my part will be the inside and then next week my part will be this border part and this is how it will look finished and you can see the difference this is linen and venetian stone and this is ada so you can kind of see the difference in the color. So that was day one. And I kind of just have everything in here. I just dump it all in here on my floss bitties and I just have all my patterns loose. I just kind of, that's how I keep it. So that was day one. Day two, um, we started yesterday with our Stitchy Talk and I was able to finish so if you miss Stitchy Talk, you can go back and watch it. This is a completely free pattern that you can download at Fat Quarter Shop. I am using NPI Silk, and this is the top left of the heart. Now, I went a little bit down because this big flying geese type unit was big, so I just wanted to keep continuing that. Now, this week I will do this part of the heart. It took me about three hours, but I really loved the intricacy and like filling it in. Something about it was very um, fulfilling. Something about it I just loved. And we did get some questions yesterday. The pillow you can see um, in the front camera, and you can see it right over there. That is the pillow, and that's gonna be the same thing as this and we have a video on how to finish it into that pillow and we had some questions if we're going to have another finishing video and we aren't but we're going to send this one to priscilla for a second idea so that you have two finishing ideas so that was day two and then i'm not going to go by day i'm just going to show you by project for just my type this is going to be this week, and I am going to do kind of the, the this part, and like I talked about before, I've never done something so circular, so I'm a little bit nervous about it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna kind of do this, but not do the entire thing, and then finish, like just at least the pink part, to make sure it does the circle before I fill in, because I'm nervous. And this is a PDF pattern, paper pattern at Fat Quarter Shop, and on this one, I am using Graceful Gray Witchell and Color and Cotton Thread, and it's going to be my first time working with Color and Cotton, and the colors are really nice. What I did is I just put their hang tag on the back and this on the front, so that's the way I have those in there and then um, February trucking along I'm gonna just do the top right here this week and I'm using the called for colors and I'm using the chalkboard black Witchell and this is a bag by dot dot goose so that is this week Another one to do this week is, okay, so we've been doing sampler of the month and I'm doing this actually for all of them. The first week of the month, I'll do the top part. 
the second week of the month I'll do the middle and the third part of the month I will do the bottom and this is beautiful beige 16 count by Witchell and this is Country Cottage Needleworks it's a new series and January through March are not now out so I'm gonna do that this week and then another one this week that I'm going to do is this Be My Valentine, which I am so excited to start. I love this. And I'm going to do, I think the left side is what I decided to do. And I'll probably do the white and then fill in. And on this one, I didn't buy new floss. I am using leftover floss from other projects by stitching with the housewives since they use a lot of the same floss. So I didn't buy anything new for this one. All I did was buy the pattern and the fabric and then when i run out i will pull from other stuff that i have left over so my goal on this one was to not have to buy any new thread and if you want detail on all of this exactly what i'm doing if you go to floss tube 102 it is all there just wanted to show you one more time and i wanted to let you know this is brand new this we had originally a book stand by Lori Holt that was in aqua and what we're going to do with her is do one color when it sells out do another color when it sells out do another color just so that things change up so our first book stand was aqua this one is blossom and it is going to come out in March so we've been working on this a long time it has her beautiful bee logo and this is the back so it's metal and it stands up so if you're a quilter the way I use this is I open up Lori Holt's books since they are on spiral bound and it opens flat if you're a cross stitcher you could put this on your table next to you and you could just put your chart like this and then see it and then you could put your line keeper and you could even put your line keeper through the back to keep it flat if you wanted to so I can show you for example you could this is magnetic so you could do your line keeper just like this and keep it flat but if you wanted it flatter it would work all the way through if that makes sense so this is super exciting and loving the color and we're just going to leave this up with the quilty love that I made last year because that's a great idea for something that you can do for Be Mine. And I love the logo. Um, so that's my plan for this week. That's a lot. Um, we'll see how much I get done, but I do think I will get it all done. I think I have enough time and the way that I do these sew alongs is I try to plan what I realistically can get done by week. And um, that was just what I'm working on this week. If you want to see all of my projects for it, you would go to FlossTube 102. I'm happy to do it again, but since I've already done it, I don't want to bore you. Hmm. So um, just let me know if there's any questions from Be Mine or any questions on this. It's so, oh my gosh, I can't wait. And this is the only one we have. It's the prototype. <laughs> so I don't even have one at home. And so I'm jealous that we have this one. We don't, they didn't send two. If they send two, sometimes I'm lucky enough to get one, but they only sent one. You can also put your needle minders on it, right? Like, I don't it. know. Let's see. I think you used to do that with the other one, with the aqua one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have a needle minder here. We'll have to find one and see. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, my gosh. We have Lori's right here. Yay. Matchy, matchy. Hey, look at that. And you don't even need the magnet. Yeah. Yeah, the one on the back. And it matches. It's the same color. It's so cute. All right. From Kelsey Kennedy, where did you get your sweater, Kimberly? It's so cute. Okay, I dug this out. This is old. It's probably like three or four years. It's from Talbot's. I bought it. The funny story is I bought it at a dance convention we went to, Emma and I. And I, when we go to dance conventions, I'm a horrible packer. You can ask anybody who travels with me. I kind of just throw everything together and I didn't have enough clothes. So like I ran, I, I think it was like one of those longer conventions. And I like was Saturday. I was like, oh, I don't have clothes for tomorrow. And 
I could have worn something dirty, but then somebody would have known. I wouldn't have been embarrassed. I mean, for me, I would not care. But for Emma's friends, I wouldn't want like them to make fun of her. So um, we actually were staying at a Galleria, I think, in Houston or something. So I went to Talbot's, and it was like a couple years ago, I think. I don't even know. But yeah, I dug it out. I was trying to match. And so, yeah, I dug it out. Yeah, it looks good. It matches the, the book stand. Thanks. Oh, it does match the book stand. Yeah, so does your hair clip. And all of that matches the frame on the sew by row. Oh my gosh. Anyways, it's cute. I love it. Thanks. From April Bowden, were you going to have suggestions for something to stitch on the Just My Type bag? I am. And I will, sh I just haven't done it yet. So what I'm going to do is I have to find the pattern. What I'm planning to do is put the little bird with the heart right here. And then I was gonna take some of these arrows and maybe put an arrow through the heart. Like an arrow up here and an arrow down here. And then I was gonna put the little bird right here. I just haven't had um, time to do it. But maybe when I'm doing this one this week, I can just do it at the same time. And when I'm stitching on these bags, I use two strands. I feel like it's plenty. I don't, I mean, one time I think I did four strands and it was just too much. So yeah, that's my plan is to incorporate this into here. And I thought the little bird would be cute. So yeah, that's my plan. I just didn't get it done yet, um, but it will get done. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to just use what's in my bag. I'm just going to use color and cotton since that's what I have. Now, if I was using DMC, I would just use what I have. And doing that, I might run out of thread. So I just need to know in advance that, hey, I might, since I'm using my stash, I might run out. But I'm not going to buy anything for that. That's just like a little accent. I don't want to have to buy anything um, unless I run out. From Charlene Miller, since you do your trucking along as one piece, how do you line up with the top to make sure it fits? So I measure across and usually it's 98. So I find the center and 98 divided by two is, um, I don't know. 98 divided by two is 49. So I'll find the stitch where the 49 is. And then I go to the bottom and it's usually 98 and I find 49. If it's off one stitch, then I just pick left or right and I just start going. And I count down, I leave either one stitch or two stitches between the piece, just deciding um, what I think will look best. And on one of them I did start, when I lined it up, I didn't line it up right. I think it was October or September. And anyway, one side was super heavy and I was not about to pull all those stitches out. So I just kind of fudged the right and just added a couple of stitches to make it look even. Um, and I just use a pencil on my paper and kind of write it out, like draw lines, draw lines, and then just kind of put the papers together and just, do it that way I just I have to be really careful when I do it ever since I made that one mistake I've been more careful from Kathy Longo good morning when you have completed your project how do you store your patterns okay we are gonna do a storage video and cross stitch storage and we're gonna talk about that and we will be releasing that in March okay Peyton Jolly says hi mommy hi little P and Lori Hofield says, question, can Kimberly share the name of the mechanical pencil she recently started using? Ashley will put a link in the, do you have the link in there? Amazon, just the Amazon shop. Amazon it, shop. It's on our Amazon shop. It's in our Amazon shop. Yeah, sorry, I can't hear you, Ashley. Um, I don't have it here. It's in my office. So it's in my Amazon shop. I can't think of the name of it. If I had it here, I would just say it, mm -hmm. but I don't know the name of it. Um, yeah, I don't remember. I left my bag downstairs. But I do know I use 0.7, uh, 0.7 lead. Yes. Uh, Valeria Bauer, uh, we have a super chat from Valeria Bauer, actually, for fourteen ninety nine. Thank you. And Valeria's just wonderful. Thank you so much, Valeria. Thank you. I still haven't gotten your email, by the way. 
So if you could retry that, I would appreciate it. Alright. And then we had another super chat from Dot Dot Goose Design Denise for $50. And they said, Happy February from me and Miss Gracie. Thank you. Thank you so much. Happy February to you and everyone. Yes. Okay. And then, question from Gerana Nelps Could you do a segment on measuring? Yes, but if you could be more specific on what you mean by measuring. Yes. And then we'll write it on our list, but I'm not sure exactly what. If that means measure from where you're starting or, but we could definitely incorporate that as part of Stitchy Talk. I just need to know exactly what you mean. A little more specific so that I do the, so that I answer the right thing because I'm known for answering the wrong thing. So I just want to make sure I do the right thing. Yes. Um, so another thing that we're working on in February, we started in January, is Sew by Row. And so this is the pattern and this is the needle miner that goes with it. <laughs> So here's the pattern, and let's see. We are on row four, so this row, and with the Be Mine Stitch Along coming up, I knew that I'm gonna be super busy because I don't have this penciled in with the other seven days of Be Mine. And so because of that, I know I'm gonna be very limited on time, so I went ahead and did more this week to cheat. So what I decided to do is I, I think I had done the gray last week, the little gray spots. So what I did was I did all the brown spool tops and sides. I guess they're tops, but they're vertical and horizontal. I did all the little spools and then I did all of the gray pieces. Then from there, when I did pink, I did pink here, 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 here. So I didn't have to like change color. So I did all my pink. And then when I got to my green, I don't think I put green anywhere. But then when I got to orange, I did all the orange here and then all the orange here. And then this color and then all of it here. So I was trying, and then the navy, I did the same thing. I did all the navy. So this week when I do the iron, any there's two colors here, two colors here, and two colors here. As I do those, I will fill them in here so that I'm able to finish. I was worried if I didn't do anything down here that I would kind of be stretching it for time and I didn't want to be stressed out or anything. I had plenty of time left over this week. And so for example, okay, when I do the red right here, that's the red for the handle. I will come down here and there's red in the bundles. I'll fill that in. And then this light blue, I'll do that and then I'll do it down here. It's also right here in a spool. So I'll get to fill in a spool and a bundle. And then when I get to the spool row, I won't have as much to do. And then when I get down here, I won't have as much to do. And I am keeping that in this cute little bag by Crosshatch Quilts. And I have been loving using this. We made the beekeeper probably two or three years ago. And I don't know why I never used it, but the funny thing is I saw a floss tuber use it. She's a new floss tuber. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I made that for Lori, I should use it. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using this more and more. I have really loved having this because I don't have to dig through my bag. And I put the numbers on the front with my DMC stickers. But I was on the phone with Lori this week and she was like, you should put the numbers on the back. So on the next project, I'll put the numbers on the back. So you can do it kind of either way, but I love this. And I any and when I got my thread pack, these there was duplicates of, meaning more than one skein. And so I'm gonna leave these wrapped up and if I don't use them, I will just um, put them in my stash and I won't have to worry about anything. And then white didn't fit. Hey guys, we're back. I'm so sorry. We just had a big power outage. 
So um, it was external, meaning something happened with the city of Buda power. So if we go off again, we'll just come back. <laughs> um, totally out of our control. But um, so this, I can't, I don't know where we stopped, but I was kind of talking about the beekeeper and keeping everything in my bag. And um, this week I will do the irons. And the one thing that we did decide is for Stitchy Talk, next March 2nd at 9 a.m. Central Time, I'm gonna demonstrate the back stitches on the pattern. So um, we've gotten a lot of questions on that, so we're definitely gonna cover that. So that's super exciting. And I am using DMC on this and 14 count shadow. And on this one, I am going to frame it in the same frame. And I think what I'm gonna do is paint it, my, well, myself meaning Denise is going to help me paint it. I've never painted anything in my life correctly. I've painted, but not correctly. Um, I'm going to paint it, but I am going to have my framer frame it. And I might paint it in aqua instead of pink, just because I have more aqua in my sewing room. And I was thinking I have an accent wall in my sewing room that's actually aqua. So I was thinking of taking that paint, I think it's like Sherwin-Williams or something, just taking that paint and doing the same paint. So just to do something different. So let me know if there's any questions on that. And I hope that that interruption was not so bad. I do wanna show you Lori's and where she is at. So we're gonna do a pop-up of Lori's and that's where Lori's at. So, um, She'll be caught up this week, and I love to show how Lori does her floss flowers since she actually makes them a flower. Um, they're so cute. And her little scissors, those are her scissors that um, I think that she makes with Relly Blake, and there's her little needle minder. She's using Prairie 20 count cork linen, and um, so hers is gonna be much smaller, and on hers, when she finishes it, she'll show it on her floss tube how she finishes it. And there is kind of the chart. You could print that out off our blog and that shows you kind of what week we're at. And I love that when we do this, we divide it up because it gives you enough time to do each week. And if you get behind like Lori, it's no big deal. You just catch up, it's no big deal. And um, what's great is some of them have more. For example, like the sewing machine, that's pretty intensive, but then the spool row gives you a little break. And I love how each of the rows is different sizes. All right, question from Jackie Knobloch. When you are done with the project and have thread left over on the beekeeper, what do you do with it? Okay, so I'm gonna talk about that in our, our thread storage video. And um, I basically take it off and put it on a floss flower that already has that color or create a new floss flower and they go in buckets, jars, sorry, not buckets, jars. And I'm gonna show you that uh, system that I have with that, with our, bee organi our organization video. And then we had a super chat from Lori Roth for $15. And Lori Roth says, thank you, Kimberly and Fat Quarter Shop crew. You make my day. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. Very much appreciated. I'm trying not to be too frazzled by I know, the power outage. The look that Lily gave me when the power outage went out, I was like, wait a minute, did that just happen? Yeah. Well, I was like, she's confirming that the power just went out. I think that's why I looked directly at you, because I'm like, this isn't just like my vision going out, right? I know, out, I was right? like, really? And then, okay, y'all want to know a funny story? I went to the bathroom, and I forgot my mask, because oh, no. <laughs> I have to go, when I have to go, I have to go. And I forgot, and I went in there, and the power was not on in the bathroom. Oh, no. And I had to go, and so I was like, trying to get out of the bathroom and the light was on and I was I mean the lights were off and I was just like oh my goodness please help me oh my gosh that's oh. the story of my life okay so so excited that I have something new to show you guys this week I stitched these actually this weekend and let's see I stitched it in two days I think I did it on I think I did it in two days so here we go so this is, if you are in Lori Holt's Stitch Card Club, this will be your next club, Stitch Card Set H. It will be shipping in the beginning of March. 
and if you are not in the club you will be able to get the card the, the four stitch cards come together and they will come out right after that and we will have a thread pack for this in the next couple of weeks and with the thread cards Lori provides DMC colors And so I stitched these. I'm going to tell you a little bit about, about it in a second. And Lori and Denise are working on a video on, not a video, but a tutorial, maybe like a blog tutorial or, you know, we can just show it on what we're going to do to finish these. So this time she did farm animals and these go along with the penny pig that's in her quilting book and the cow that's in her quilting book, etc. So, so um, the happy horse and the milk cow, the penny pig and the woolly sheep. And um, these were super quick. I loved doing the borders. That was the most fun. These are all DMC. I stitched this on 25 count Lugana by Lori Holt and they come out about two and three quarters by two and three quarters and they each took about two hours some took less some took more so I started on the 27th and finished on the 28th and I did decide in my book to put the DMC for each individual card because I thought okay if in five years I see this pig and somebody wants me to make the pig I can go back and I will see okay exactly what I used so I'm super excited about these. So again, if you are in the Lori Holt Stitch Card Club, you will get this at the beginning of March. If you're not in the club, you can join now and you will get it at the beginning of March. Um, we are sending these to the printer, I think in a couple of days. So we get these stitch cards printed in, um, in the United States. And so we're just finalizing those. So cute. I know, they're so cute. So the one thing I will say that I did, let me find it. Okay, right here. I started too close to the top right here. So it might affect what... I should have started down a little bit more. Like, probably right here. So, but when I looked at what we're trying to do with finishing, I think we'll be okay. So you can see when I got to the cow, I was super careful. I was like, oh, let me go further down. So, but yeah, I'm super excited about these. And with this one... I didn't serge the edges or anything, and the reason why is this is a quick project. Like I said, it only took me two hours. That's not enough for it to fray enough for me to worry about. And all of the eyes are blue. If you look at the animals, all the eyes are blue. Hmm. And on the back stitch, I did two strands. So super thick back stitch. So there's a back stitch there. The tail is a back stitch his little tail oh my gosh so cute and this one doesn't have any back stitch so super excited about that and we are planning something with this that's gonna have kind of a farmy feel so we're gonna have some different things you can do with this if you don't want to do it as an individual stitch card and that would be coming up much later in 2021 but let me know if you have any questions on this i was excited to be able to stitch these um, even though it was on 25 count Lugana, I go much slower on 25 count Lugana. <laughs> All right, let's see. From Courtney Lancaster, will there be a floss pack for stitching with the housewives? Here comes Peter Cottontail. Yes, we already have the thread ordered. I don't know when it will come. Do you? Mm -mm. Probably two weeks. Maybe two weeks. From Garolyn Beezer, do you stitch over two squares when you use 28 count? Okay, so when you use 28 count, you stitch over two squares. This is 25 count, and I stitched with two strands over two squares. Now, when you saw Lori's Sew by Row pop-up image, she stitched with one strand over one square. Why, though, says, who's going to stitch while their family watches the Super Bowl? LOL. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even know the Super Bowl was Monday. Was it Sunday? Yeah, it's Sunday. Until yeah. my mom said something. Yeah, I didn't know either until she I, my, we Okay, we do it. We watch it. I don't know a thing about it. I don't even care. I just, I don't care at all. Like, I could care less about football. Same. But we play a squares game, which I don't even understand. You just put your name in a square, and then 
if you win, um, Kevin has prizes. I'm not oh. kidding. He goes to the store himself and he buys these ridiculous prizes that are sugar so that our kids can get real hyper oh throughout the game and then not go to sleep. <laughs> but it's like cool. It's anyway, it's a squares game. Kevin does it and um I've never won one of the prizes. Aww. But um it's fun. That's awesome. Yeah, and then um my son Will, I will say this. Okay, so this weekend I spent a long time working on the storage video, like way too long. And my son literally sat there and helped me divide all my floss for like five hours. And he's a reader. So I said, I'll take you to Barnes & Noble and get you anything you want. Oh I mean, within reason. Yes. And you know what he wanted? He said, I don't want to go to Barnes & Noble. Go buy me some balloons. So we bought him balloons. He blew them up yesterday. I came home and they're in a plastic bag. Like a whole big plastic bag. And I was like, what are you planning to do with that? And he won't tell me. So I think they're planning to put the balloons in the um, trampoline. Oh. Uh. But I'm not sure why they need that many balloons. <laughs> but they definitely, my kids all have something planned, and none of them will tell me what it is. And so I'm like, okay. Oh, that's good. And that's, that's fine. I don't get real staticky if they put a ton of balloons in the trampoline. Why well, don't get on the trampoline? Kevin got on the trampoline last week, and it made him sick, and he had to sit down, and he was, like, really sick. He was like, I really... And I was like, you're too old to get on the trampoline. I don't know why you think that you can get... But, but he played... They played basketball, and then he got on the trampoline, and I was like, well, I wouldn't even step on that thing. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um, but, yeah, I feel everyone in the comments that's also like, I don't get... American football. This is strange because uh, I do like the commercials. Yeah, yeah, the commercial. I, that's what I mean. That's what everyone says they watch it for. But truly, like, but they're not gonna do as many funny ones this year, right? So I'm like, okay, then that gives me nothing to do. Yeah, but I could sit there with my headphones on. Yeah. All right, from Kathy Achenbach, a uh, big shout out to Kimberly for helping me get more organized with it, and I can actually think I will finish it. Thank you. Yay. Thank you, Kathy. And from Val Earl, can you show how to travel with the checkered, checkerboard type patterns? We could do that in April, Stitchy Talk. I could do a demo. So literally, I'll show you the back and I'll show you the front over here. So it's the same thing. It's just reversed. So I'm going to point kind of where, so I start here and then I go down and then I go to the next square down, square down. So I just go from top to bottom and you can see my thread goes top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. And then that way my thread doesn't go behind the other <laughs> The others, like you can see that when you look on the front, you're not going to see thread behind those. Did that, I hope that answered, but we could maybe do a little demo. We'll do it at some point in Stitchy Talk. If you want to do it in April, we can. I mean, these took not very long at all. Okay, so another thing that we started this week is our brand new Stronger Together project. Can you hand me the two finished ones, please? So this started this week. It is a stitch along called Stronger Together. And we are selling this PDF. The cross stitch is two pieces for the same price. So there's this piece, which is right here. Thank you. And this piece, which is right here. And who stitched this one? Cheryl. Cheryl stitched this one. Terry. And Terry stitched this one. This one is a blog tutorial on how to finish this, and this is just a simple frame from Amazon. And then this one, we, we bought the little frame from Michaels. And so with this, we're dividing this up, and I'm gonna show you what Ashley is working on. Ash, great, that is how we're dividing it up. So the first week was the outside, the second week is the stars, the third week is the half square triangles, and the fourth week is the patchwork. There's also a quilt to go with this, and 100% of the proceeds are going to go to UNCF for college education. And I'm going to show you Ashley. So Ashley is a beginner. So if you're a beginner, you can definitely do this. And the way that she stitched is she outlined her blue triangles and then filled in. 
and then for the for the um, white triangle, she started at the bottom right corner, stitched the diac, like she kind of did this and filled in. And this is aqua dyed effect. We, um, and once we sell the thread packs, we're not gonna be able to make more. They came with the bracelet, which, here it is. They came with the bracelet and so, um, the thread pack came with the bracelet. That was the only way to get the thread pack. And you can do anything you would like on this one. You can do any colors you want. A lot of the quilters have already quilted the entire thing and like some of them have done just black and white. Some of them have changed the colors completely. You can do any color you would like. And Ashley is stitching with the DMC. So, um, and we are gonna make that donation at the beginning of March. So we're gonna take 100% of the proceeds of the cross stitch, 100% of the proceeds of the quilt, and then Kevin and I, of course, will round up because that's the kind of people we are and we will donate that money. So let me know if there's any questions. I think I covered everything on that. And this, I wanted to show you this is a, just a basic frame that you would kind of put in there. And what Denise did was she made this a little bit wider. So the frame is actually an inset frame and then she glued, she hot glued it on top. So it won't fall out. There we go. You're fine. All right. Uh, while I wait for, for questions to roll in about Stronger Together, there was a funny comment from Why Though about the Super Bowl. They said, I'm there for the food, LOL. The food. Oh, Kevin does whole food thing. He goes to H E B. He gets like he makes queso. He gets guacamole. Gets like pepperoni rolls. He goes nuts. That's amazing. And then I'm like, this is all you, whatever. <laughs> but I mean, you can't really. It's great because you can't really order food on Super Bowl because it's never gonna come, right? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. everybody's ordering. I mean, most my mom is really into the Super Bowl because that's how I knew about it. She was like telling me she might watch it with my nephew. She might not. I don't know. We're. Um, she was telling me, and I was just like, I don't know. I don't know who's playing. I just know that Tom Brady made it again through. And he, it's like he, yeah, because he's, Kevin loves Tom Brady. And so, yeah. Yes. Also, there are a lot of people in the comments that do really enjoy American football. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure most people do. Yeah. yeah. That's My great. mom is like, when I was growing up, they loved the Dallas Cowboys. And on Sunday mornings, I could never, nobody in our house could sleep in because the Dallas Cowboys, when they came on, the whole house was a mess. My brother's yelling, my, my dad's yelling, my mom. And we lived in like a tiny house, like a thousand square feet or something. I don't even know, maybe 1,500. And I would get so annoyed on Sundays. I'd be like, can y'all just be quiet? I think that's so cool though. Like my thing is just like, I don't understand football, so I can't enjoy it. But I love the excitement everyone gets like, in the stands and um, watching from home and all that. So in a way, I'm a little envious. Yeah, I'll watch it just to say I watched it, but I won't have a clue what's going on. I, I watch UT football, so I understand college. I'm, and I know football and I follow football, but not as much. But I've never really followed the NFL, but I do follow the college. So another thing that we're doing in February is we're celebrating Fully Finished February and we're calling it FFO Fully Finished February and we have a hashtag. And for the month of February, we are designing, designating this month to break out your stitched finishes that you have at home and turn them into fully finished objects. So we compiled a list of our top five finishing videos that you can end um, top five finishing videos from YouTube and we did a blog post on them. And so I'm gonna show you um, these top five finishes and throughout February, we're gonna be showing other finishes. So if you look at yesterday, we showed um, a Lori Holt finish that she did a couple of years ago. So, and follow our hashtag. So the first one is homegrown, which was our first, sorry, it was our first, stitch quarterly pattern and on the front you will see the finish by Priscilla and she has that on her blog which is Priscilla's 2000.blogspot.com and then this is how Denise and I finished our pillow I think this is Denise's pillow and so we show you how you take the Ada how you cut it down and add the inner border the outer border 
the sewn in zipper, which is actually easier than you think. If you're scared of using zippers, if you start with by Annie zippers, that will give you a really nice result because of the width of this. If you start with a zipper that's really cheap and too skinny, you're gonna get frustrated. So that would be my tip, no matter what you're doing, start with the by Annie zipper. And so this is one of our videos that we want you to check out. So this is our first one. Our next one is our January snapshot. So if you are in this club, this shipped to you last week. And we apologize for the delay. There are delays at DMC. And um, February should be on time. January was just a little bit late. And Denise and I did a video on this and we basically took a simple frame um, from Hobby Lobby and we framed it in the cross stitch. I decided to leave the glass on and so that's just personal preference and we just use sticky board and batting behind the piece and then we just popped it back in and if you're in the snapshots club you could actually buy one frame and just change it out every month i decided to do 12 different just because of the videos and not having time to pop it back in and out so that's the second one where you can just frame a cross stitch so the first was how to turn a cross stitch into a pillow the second is how to frame a cross stitch the next one is this pattern it's a low price pattern to celebrate national cross world cross stitch day and this one is how to turn a cross stitch how to finish a cross stitch in a hoop and it's a cute simple project that you could do in an hour the finishing in an hour for a small project we just got a plastic hoop from hobby lobby you could also put a wooden hoop and paint it and um, it's kind of hard to find these. I will tell you that it's hard to find these hoops um, in this color. Sometimes Hobby Lobby has them and sometimes they don't. And a lot of times when we went to Hobby Lobby, they had the hoop in a different color. Mm -hmm. um, and then we just took a circle. We just took a um, sticky board, cut it in a circle, color, covered it in a Layla Boutique fabric and hot glued that down. And that's all in the video. And then Quilty Love. This one we did a video. This is a small video. This is a small frame that we sell. It's a Lori Holt frame. And so we just show you in that video how if you have a frame like this that you buy, like if you went to a flea market and you bought an old vintage frame, it would not have the back that, sorry, that like this frame would have. So see how this has a back? If you have a frame without a back, we show you how you can do sticky board, make it stiff and make it pop in and hold your piece and not fall out. So that's another idea. And then our last feature for our top five is Queen Bee Flower Farm. And Priscilla and Chelsea, when they came to film, showed us how to wrap your project and your fabric board with a ruffle. And it's super cute and the ruffle adds a lot of flair to it. And this one has a, like a clipboard. So you can clip it on the ruffle and it holds it down. And that is a video that Priscilla and Chelsea did with us. And we're hoping that when um, they can come back this summer. So we're planning on June. So let me know if you have any questions on any of these finishes. And we have videos on them. We have a blog post. And throughout the month, we're going to be sharing more than just the five. We're going to share all of the finishing videos that we've done. We're no experts. And that's the point is we want to show you that even though we're not experts, we can do it. It might take a lot longer than someone um, who does it all the time, but we're trying to um, show you how you can do it at your house. Um, Carrie Graziano, why is layering batting important when finishing a stitched piece? Okay, so I will show you two different. I'll show you two different. Okay, it's personal preference. When you put 
batting. I When I put, so this is my cross stitch cloth, I prefer to have batting behind it. So this has batting behind it. This has batting behind it because I like it to be um, not flat. I don't know what it is, but I like the batting on it. Priscilla does not like the batting on it. So Priscilla's usually does not have batting on it. It's a personal preference. So they look the same to me. I like the batting because it seems like I won't see the wrinkles and it makes it easier to maneuver. So it's just personal preference. So this one has no batting. This one does. And when you're working with sticky board like this, we don't put batting on the sticky board. I just do it on the, on the Ada part. Obviously this doesn't have it, but um, I feel like it just makes it a little bit puffier and it will kind of hide the mistakes maybe. It would be the way to say it. So hopefully that answers that question. And I'm no expert, so. We have some whips and this one we showed you Recently, it's called Seeking Refuge, and Cheryl has made more progress on it. She's stitching on 36 count vintage country mocha from her stash and the called for floss. So I would say she's about maybe half done, maybe a little bit less. So I love showing her stuff since she does stuff that is so different than me. She does a lot of samplers and really pretty. So I'm gonna put this on a board before, since it's, keep it flat. And the next one that she's working on, she is in the Country Cottage New York Sampler of the Month. She signed up for the linen version and she started March and this is 32 count linen, beautiful beige by Witchell. So she will probably be done with this next month. And I have another stitched finish from Cheryl. This is, so this is one of her whips. This is one of her finishes. So here's the March that she's in the process of. And here's her February. It's so cute. And so she is adding the windows. I have decided to leave the windows off mine since it's Ada and I couldn't get it to look right. Um, so she's gonna be stitching these and I'm gonna be stitching it. This is part of my Be Mine stitch along. And so this week I'm gonna do the top. And I kind of considered this the top. Let's see, this the middle and then this the bottom. And then for our previous finish this month, we are showing last year's charity piece, which is right here. This is a completely free pattern. And if you download it and decide to stitch it, definitely donate to our Make-A-Wish campaign. And here is my piece that Priscilla finished. So we just wanted to highlight this and show that if you want to stitch this you still can and we still have a make a wish campaign i stitched this on pewter 25 count lugana and um, i stitched this with dmc and our serendipity cross stitch starts march 1st and i'm going to show that to you so that if you're interested in joining you can um, just be on the lookout for it this year we've raised $23,219 for Make-A-Wish. And here's this year's piece. Cheryl stitched it on the 14 count Ada Navy. She used uh, DMC, I believe. And um, she, Priscilla finished this and Priscilla has a blog on all of the information on her finishing on this and I will be stitching along with you and we have that as, we're gonna do it by um, row. So that's super exciting. And with this, we are offering a DMC thread pack and a Weeks Dye Works thread pack and we're suggesting Navy Witchell fabric. The next feature is the February Snapshots Club. So I love this. If you are in this club, we are shipping this out February 5th 
And if you're not in the club, but you want to stitch along and look at the color changes, we will post the blog um, five days after we ship the club each month. And if we have any leftover kits, we will sell them online at a higher price than the club members paid. So we do have a couple of January kits left. And we do have, if you want to make the January and you want to make it at home with your own look, our colors, but different fabric, all of that is already on the blog. And these are how the kits look. So January and February. So if you're in the club or want to join the club, you get the floss, you get the 10 count farmhouse, and you get the conversions, like the original and then the updated and any notes when, when I stitched it, any different notes of things I did that might be different. And for today's flash sale, it is Autumn Bird by Hands, Hard in Hand, Bird in the Hand Autumn by Hard in Hand. It's on flash sale today. Let me know if you have any questions before I show you our last section, which is our new section. From Stephanie Neville Meeks, I'm interested in Stitch Quarterly. Do you have the option of choosing Ada Cloth? No. So Stitch Quarterly is our quarterly subscription, and with that you get a pattern, a thread, a fabric, and a notion, and you get what we put together, and we do try to mix it up. But considering that we are a store that is really... Um, we're geared towards you know beginners and not super complicated stuff that's kind of the idea of the club and from the 614 stitcher i would like to know if quilt kits are still available for the charity yes they are in they are not in stock yet you pre-order those and those will ship towards the end of february and um denise is saying the snapshots club is now closed so if you um, wanted to get the January kit, you don't sign up for the club, you just go buy the January kit and the February kit, et cetera, when it comes out. Because when we do those like monthly type clubs, we just kind of do it and then close it off at the beginning of the year and then that's how we do it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some new stuff. Last Friday, Priscilla and Chelsea released the happy birthday chart from their What's in My Cup series, and they mentioned on their Saturday video that they will have some different celeb celebratory patterns. And so this is the first in the celebratory patterns. And then today, I'm about peed my pants when I saw this. <laughs> I love this pattern. It is called Carrot Seeds, and it's a new series called Tiered Tray Tidbits. So these are all gonna be around three by four inches. Same exact size as all the previous ornaments. So you could use the ornaments they had in the tiered tray, but these are gonna be things that she's gonna finish to fit in a tiered tray. Of course, show on her blog and all of her social media how you make a tiered tray using her cross stitch. They're all about three by four. I'm gonna stitch this in March. I love it and I am personally requesting more seed packets because that is cute. Yeah, I was so excited. Priscilla can tell you how excited I was. These came out this week by Priscilla and Chelsea as PDFs. So we have their patterns as paper at all times. We will always have them. And after a certain amount of time, they release them as PDFs for especially international customers. And um, Madame Chantilly, who is very popular. This is winter, it's called Celebrate Winter, so they have a series of like Celebrate Spring, and they're tiered trays, and these pieces, I will say, they're beautiful, but they're much larger than they look. And so that would be one thing that I've seen on different reviews on different floss tube channels, is that they come out bigger than you think. And this is Seasons in the Jar, and so with these, you could do it as one piece. I love the border or you could do them separately. And then there is a new designer that I found out about called Katie Nolan. Count Your Stitches, Count Your Stitches is her company name. And this is her first pattern. It's called Star Crossed. 
She will be taking quilting designs and turning them into cross stitch. And we have this as a PDF and she is shipping paper patterns also. So that's her first pattern. Her second one is called XOXO, which would be a great addition to the Be Mine lineup if you haven't started. And oh my gosh, that's so cute. And um, this is available as a PDF, but will also be a paper in the next couple of weeks when she ships them to us. So that's what we have today, guys. And that's a lot. And I really want to apologize for the light turning off. I hope that um, um, that didn't... So guys, um, yeah, so thanks for watching. We would love for you if you followed us. Um, our Instagram is FQSXStitch. Our Facebook is FQSXStitch. Our YouTube is obviously Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. And we would love for you to subscribe to us. And I will see you next week with lots and lots and lots of Be Mine stuff. And so by Row and Stronger Together. And see you guys then. Bye, everyone.